now at the Louis Imperial Beach Hotel. I love the little winter coats all the trees I've got. I'm going to have a quick look at the beach. Now, again in summertime, this beach is perfect for little kids because there's a natural, almost like a swimming pool here. There's all those rocks over there. Creates a little barrier. And if you are more adventurous, you can go beyond them and do some snorkeling as well. I mean, the best place to snorkel around here is to be honest, at the harbour. But when I want to say harbour, I mean municipal baths. But you can have fun here too. As you'd expect, nowhere's open at the moment. Well, nothing to do with water sports anyway. is there for you. Oh, and I've walked across here before in the past, we can get quite foggy because they water it a lot. But we're going to go and see... Oh, sorry, I'm just going to take care of that. More waves over here. Naturally enough, there's no life uh, guide on duty off-season. Let's face it, he wouldn't have a lot to do. Or she wouldn't. They wouldn't have a lot to do, there you go. Lots of rock pools here. You don't get rock pools in Cyprus like you do in Britain. Full of life. And an ecosystem in its own right. I think it's due to the lack of decent sized tides. And I chose those words very carefully. Uh, means that the conditions for a rock pool to be sustainable don't happen here. I think I'm going to walk around to that uh, little bit over there because it looks like it's some good film. Especially if we put it in slow-mo mode actually. Because about that. So let's go and try that out. I guess I'd forgotten about that mode. There's a fisherman there. I wonder if they've had any luck. Looks like he's got a warming can of beer with him. Well, it could be an energy drink actually, fair enough. Watch out for the rivulets. Temperature-wise, it's not too chilly. I'm wearing a jumper, but I'm by no means cold in it. Olympic Lagoon Resort. That one. So it's got a pipe.
Hayward Island in the middle. I walk up to the uh, turn up here, then I'll dry, uh, walk back to that bit over there and do some slow mo filming. Cause that could be quite good. I'll try not to get wet as well, always a good idea. Look at that bird. Let's have another look at the Olympic Lagoon Resort. As in the summertime, the place is very popular. It's quite slippery here, so I won't mind my step. I love the sight of the wind blowing in the palms. Right down there is the new beach cafe. That's where I'll be parking the car for the next bit of the film. Is that the place where they have weddings and they stick a little stall up there or something? Well, yeah, that's what I reckon it is. Oh, there's a cat! Hello! Bloomington cat now. Meow, meow, meow. Basically said, you filmed me, now feed me. Which is fair enough. However, I'm not going to. Right. I'm going to walk a little way down here and then I'm going to stop the film and see if I remember how to put the camera into slow-mo mode. I mean, I'll do a slow I know though that I do need to get close up for the slow mode to look decent, so I might get wet. Wish me luck.
Well, hopefully that worked. And more importantly, I managed to avoid getting completely soaked. Hopefully that won't be uh, famous last words as well. I'm going back to the car now, and then we'll drive up to the uh, soda beach. May as well keep on filming just in case I manage to get soaked along the way because everybody likes to see the cameraman getting soaked. As you'd expect, as soon as I turn my back, the spot I was standing at is having loads of big weapons. 